so you want to retire in Thailand. Should you do it in the city or in the country? Let's explore your options in this video. Stick around. Hey everybody, Rick with Rick's Adventures. In this video I wanted to discuss, you're going to retire in Thailand, would you be better off uh, retiring in a village or would you be better off retiring in one of the bigger cities? Well, that's going to kind of determine, be determined strictly by you, not me. But I wanted to give you some of the ideas or things to think about whenever you do this. If you, a lot of it's going to depend on where you come from and what your background is. Let's say that you came from uh, New York City, maybe, uh, or Chicago, Illinois, uh, St. Louis, uh, Kansas City, one of these places. You may find that you are so uh, adapted to that type of environment and culture that someplace like Bangkok uh, is a place for you, or even Chiang Mai, even though it's in the mountains and is smaller, is a lot more city-like over here in Thailand. You're going to find a lot more things that are... Uh, like you are acclimated to in your country. You're going to always have a lot of different choices on, say, uh, restaurants, uh, you know, uh, places to eat, uh, places to go party, things to see, sights to see, just the uh, overall busyness and hectic of it, uh, which a lot of people like. It's not my gig, but a lot of people like it. Now, if you're more of a, a country person like I am or a more rural person, you may find that you're better off to go out and stay uh, in one of the rural areas. Now, you've really, you can kind of step this down in a lot of different ways. You've got a lot of rural areas to where you'll have a lot of expats that go to them and stay in those areas. And a lot of people like that. Udon Thani is one of them. I see a lot of expats at, and that's in the northeastern region. And it's a bigger town or city. Uh, you know, I don't actually know its population when I look at it, you know, but it's uh, maybe comparable to some of your smaller towns in the USA that have anywhere from 40 to 60,000 people in it. And there's rural areas outside of it, places to go. There's plenty of restaurants, little bars, things to see and do, temples to visit. But it's not overwhelming. The traffic's not overwhelming. There's not all the nonstop 24-7 hustle and bustle. Uh, so that might be the step that you're looking for. Uh, me, personally, my girlfriend uh, owns a rice farm, and she's also a teacher out in one of the rural villages. So I stay out there quite a bit, and then if she takes vacation time or gets days off from school, I'll, I like the beach. So we'll travel into some of the places like Hua Hin, uh, Cha Am, uh, Rayong, those places to where I can have some beach area. And by the way, those beach areas are a little more laid back. They're more, uh, Hua Hin and Cha Am are a little bit less expat and more Thai people go there from Bangkok to visit. So they're kind of a laid back area, more so than Jom Tien or over in Pattaya at that beach. That's more of the party land uh, area. So I think it kind of depends on what you're really wanting to do and what you're, uh, what your point is or what your goal is of coming to Thailand. If you want to learn Thai culture, then to me, there's no doubt in your mind you need to go out in a village. Uh, I have learned so much in the time I've been out in uh, Tia's village and visiting with the people here. And uh, it's just been an extremely good experience for me. Do I get bored? Yeah, a little bit at times because there's really nothing out here. <laughs> if you need something, uh, every village will have several mom and pop markets in it where you can go and you can uh, buy some food or they'll have something that they cook or you can buy some uh, meat to cook yourself or if you want a cold beer they'll have that or a bottle of whiskey but they're just uh, they're basically out of the people's house they will have an area out on the back portion of their house or I say the back it's actually the front portion of their house and it'll be out next to the road and they'll have a roof over it and they'll you know stock with things that they get from town and then they'll sell to people that are around the village uh, these places generally in the unless it's the new year in this village when it gets dark this this place pretty well shuts down you'll find a few of the little markets still open maybe into the eight nine o'clock area you can stop and get something but you're not going to find much 
uh, for the most part, it starts getting dark and most people go inside. They go inside and they go to sleep. And then, I mean, at the crack of dawn, when you start hearing the roosters, people are up, you'll hear motorbikes, people are starting to work. And they do this because it gets so hot and during this time of year and the rain. So if the rain stops, they can get out and work and they can do things. And if it's uh, going to be a really hot day, they try to do it in the morning, take off, not do anything in the afternoon, and then they'll get back out and do more things in the evening. So for that type of culture and to really get the feeling of uh, what it's like to be in Thailand, I, I'd say you can't beat going out and staying around a village. And you can find little resorts and you can find in between sections, guys, between places like, uh, say, Swan Dandi or uh, Udon Thani and Charosin, the area that I'm in. And they'll kind of uh, slowly digress or stepping stone down into getting extremely rural. Uh, up to having, you know, some restaurants around or a few odds and ends and things that you need. So to be part of Thai culture, I'd say village. Uh, if you're coming on vacation, uh, you know, me personally, I don't know that I'd recommend that. You may be better off uh, if you're a single guy. Hey, Patty is pretty hard to beat, guys. Or stay in Bangkok, you know, lots of stuff to do. You can get on the dating scene, do all of that. If you're a family... Uh, I'd recommend strongly someplace like Wa Hin or Cha Am because those beaches are very family oriented. They're not party beaches. Uh, they're beaches for walking on, going out. A lot of people do windsurfing, you know, and things like that. Uh, jet skis, that kind of stuff. Uh, Jom Tien's kind of a middle of the road place. I like Jom Tien quite a bit because you're, you're down from uh, the Pattaya Beach. It's a little more laid back, but there are things to do. There's marketplaces at night. There's things like that. So, you know, I enjoy it when it's beach time, but since I'm a country guy at heart, uh, after I'm staying on the beach maybe three or four weeks, and there's a lot of, there's still a lot of noise, a lot of partying going on at night, things like that. <coughs> a lot more than in the village. I get to where I enjoy coming back into the village life for a few weeks because I can come back here, come out here to... Tia's farm, which you can see here in the background, the rice farm. We'll come up here and cook out. Just have a really good time in general. Bring a few beers, uh, stop and buy some pork or chicken, uh, bring some rice, uh, some sticky rice, sit out here of an evening, and there's just calm. You know, it's relaxing, it's calm. Sometimes we'll even, uh, I've got a global hotspot that I'd purchased to bring, so I had Wi-Fi out here. We'll bring it, and I'll bring my phone with me and maybe turn on. She likes uh, American older rock and roll music. Turn that on. Sometimes some of the friends from the village come out. We'll have little get-togethers. And I get to absorb more of what they're doing, and I truly enjoy that aspect of it. So, you know, in a nutshell, I'd say uh, if, you, if you're more adapted to uh, the big city life, you know, maybe Bangkok's your place to go. Uh, me, it's too busy. Uh, if you want to kind of step down and do your research and investigation, but uh, to me, you can go to some place like, uh, if you want to get the northern region, more in the country, Don Tani. If you want a calmer beach environment, maybe Hua Hin or Cha Am. Uh, if you want a middle of the road beach environment, then not the full scale party, then I'd say Jong uh, Tien. Uh, I haven't been to Krabi yet or the PP Islands, but I'm going to go soon. So I'll kind of give you some input on that from my perspective anyway. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sums it up. You know, real tree pie culture, you can't be going out into the country. Uh, you're coming for vacation on the beach. You want it uh, party time, uh, patia. You want it on the beach. You want it a little bit calmer, John Jian. Uh, you want it even calmer, Chai Am. Uh, Ray Young, uh, they're all, they just kind of stepping stone down. One thing I will forewarn you about, uh, and from my perspective, if you get on forums asking people about this stuff like Facebook forums or things like that, you're going to have a lot of expats that just say negative bullshit. And I don't know why they come over here and they do that, but you've always got those trolls, especially on Facebook, and they're always saying a bunch of crap. 
And so take that with a grain of salt. Don't don't believe all their bullshit. Don't believe all that crap you read on there. Because you'll be able to decipher. I'm sure you're intelligent people. You can look at this stuff and you can tell, is this person just a sarcastic ass? Or uh, is this some type of truly helpful information they're trying to give me? And a lot of times, you can, you can pick out, pick and choose, just like you do on the internet or on news stations. What, what do I take, think is legitimate and logical advice? And what's just a troll that's just shooting off their mouth because they have nothing better to do? I, I don't get that type of mentality because uh, my little rant is then go home. If you don't like it here, go home. You know, I come here because I love the culture, the people, and I don't mind adapting to that culture and the people here, and it makes it very enjoyable. And watch one of my other videos that I put up recently. Whenever you come over here and do this, you guys, don't lose face. So go watch my video on that. And uh, that's one of the worst things you can do is don't lose face or cause somebody to lose face. And with that said, this is Rick with Rick's Adventures. I'm going to be signing off. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate you guys a lot. and I, I always appreciate all of the uh, constructive comments that I get on the, the video channel. So thanks again. Signing off. See you soon.